Hello Luxies! Welcome to Bagful of Lux. My name is Mitch and today I'll be showcasing more about this Chanel Classic Flap. If you haven't already seen my Paris haul, I'll link it above. Please do check that out. There's a lot of eye candies in there. So as you know, this is a classic double flap in size small and in lambskin with gold hardware let me give you a quick 360 because I thoroughly checked the bag when I was at the store because I've heard so much horror stories about the recent quality of the of Chanel the craftsmanship they say has deteriorated but luckily this one that I got is really really uh, pristine The flap is not crooked and let me show you the strap I don't know if you can hear but it's really really um, soft to the touch it's buttery soft yeah it's so satisfying to hear so that's the strap the strap of course you can pull this uh, if you want to use this as um, crossbody or just at your shoulder if you want it longer so you can just pull the strap let give me just a sec so it'll look like so yep i personally would use this with two straps on uh, for a dressier look now let me show you the inside So the SA at the store did not give me um, felt. Sometimes there's felt in here. So what I used, uh, what I did was use this glove that came with the, with the bag. This glove. I found it in one of the um, envelopes. So this is uh, very soft and supple, very luxurious as well to protect the bag. So inside, you will see that they kept this design element that Coco Chanel did according to the story. This is where Coco Chanel used to uh, slip his love notes, yeah, love letters. So they kept this design element, although to be honest, I'm sure this is not really much of use for us in this day and age, right? And this that you can see in here is an indentation from this zipper although this is very this is brand new i haven't used this one since i unboxed it um yeah this is inevitable i don't really mind much because it's gonna happen anyway no matter how much i baby the bag for me it's uh it's a risk i've already taken and you may as you use the bag, a common wear and tear as well is some indentation in here. Mine already has because of the shoulder strap. Yeah, but I don't really mind because, you know, lamb skin is really delicate. It's soft, but it's also very luxurious. That's why I opted for the small size because of the lamb skin. Maybe I'll also get the medium size, but that one is... Um, more casual in my opinion so i'll get it in uh, the caviar or the green leather calfskin leather so that's the double flap the double flaps purpose really is to keep the bags flap you can see that um, the classic flaps um, top portion sits well on the bag and that's because of the double flap Yep, the inside, I love this burgundy shade interior and definitely allows you to see your stuff inside, right? This, the double flap has a snap closure in there. Yep, it says Chanel Paris in there. It's embossed. Also in here in gold, there's a uh, printed uh, imprint in there, Chanel Oh, I don't know if you can see. Let me just adjust. Chanel made in Paris. Yep, this do two zip pockets, uh, sorry, uh, slip pockets in here. Definitely I can use this for a lot of things. Maybe card, as a card slot, 
or if you want to keep papers, receipts. This one that I got is already microchipped. Yep, they're so there's no more. They no longer use the hologram with the um, authenticity card because I know that that's the one that's easily uh, replicated already by by you know people that make the copies. And then in front, there's a huge space here, just an open pocket. So uh, I'm going to show you what fits inside, but before that, let me show you that the box that I have in the background says uh, 31 Rue Cambon Paris. It's the same for the paper bag that I have. For most of you, you already probably know that you will only get this um, in their flagship store. Pardon me, in my Paris haul video, I mentioned their entire France, but no. Um, just to correct myself, you can only get this packaging in white if you purchase your bag from the Rue Cambon flagship store in uh, Paris, France. And it's really um, a nice touch. Um, all other stores of Chanel, you will have the black version of these packaging. Yep, I love that um, details. Even, you know, the the sticker that they use in the usual um, packaging they use white sticker but the one that I got is in black I'm just so uh, so much a fan of those um, uh, small details so with that let me share with you what fits in the bag I have some essentials in here which I'm gonna try and put in the bag and then I'm just gonna let you know that I will not try I wouldn't even dare overstuff this bag. So let's start with some essentials. Most of us ladies, we use um, wallet, right? That's one of the big essentials. So if you intend to use a long wallet because you have so many cards and the likes. So I have a slip pouch in here from my Felici. The Emily wallet from LV is almost the same size as this. I also have a long continental wallet in here just to show you. This is from Fendi, but again, this also is of the same size as the LV Emily. So if you want to use a long continental wallet, let's try if it fits. It will. Yep, it fits very well. So next probably your phone I'm using an iPhone Pro iPhone iPhone 14 Pro so it looks like so I believe you wouldn't have any problems if you have a Pro Max so others what they would do is put this in front like that because I have a phone case which ma makes the phone bulky I wouldn't do this I'll probably just put in the main compartment let me just show you the back yeah like I mentioned the back will not fit most recent phones yeah okay ah, I just noticed that which I wanted to cover as well for those of you please uh, do expect that your bag will crease here because this is the part where the flap opens yeah, that's where the stress is right where that stitch stitches are so yeah do expect that there will be creases but what I would recommend you to do before you store your bag just massage them gently yep you'll see the difference but this is inevitable for the lambskin so back to what fits uh, let me put again the, the phone. What else can it fit? Because I already have a long wallet in there. Not very much. Uh, let's see if it will fit this. Uh, Chanel hand cream. No, it's too big. What about this? I have a Chanel perfume. Chanel number no. 5. Nope. <laughs> what about a clay pouch? For my keys, 
it can like so can still close but it's kind of stuffed so for me personally I wouldn't use a long wallet let me just take this out and let's try smaller a smaller wallet this is an LV Victorine it's a compact wallet you look like so probably put this this way it already occupied half of the bag half of the space of the bag yep and if you're gonna put your phone still oh but I have to also mention that my um, Victorine although it's compact it's wide because there's so much cards in it I suggest you uh, make it as thin as you can so if you're gonna put your your phone it's kind of stuffed you can still put the clay and the perfume perf my perfume is too wide so not anymore nope hang on a sec let me try a card holder give me a sec so i have here my dior card holder this is uh pretty thin in profile but if of course if you overstuff it with maybe 10 to 15 cards it will get bulky too but this one sometimes i use it as a wallet uh, I put in cards, my ID here, driver's license. I put in cards here and then my, my money, yeah, the bills. So let me try that. If it's better than bringing a compact wallet. So if I put it like this, vertical or like this, let's see what else it can fit. So course the phone yep pouch clay if I want extra card holder because my um, card holder is too slim I can still put them and I bet there won't be a problem let's see yep I still have the plastic on it. I'll remove it in a bit. Yep, no bulging. So you can definitely mix and match your stuff. I suggest that yeah, you keep to a um, small wallet though. Definitely if you're going out for the night, if you want to put say your hand cream or your um, lippies I have a lipstick here let me just add that to the pile it's bulky already again this is a um, double flap in small so yep going packing light is the key so that's it just be mindful i noticed while i'm i was closing the bag sometimes this um zipper pull um gets in the way and sometimes it peeks out of the bag just be mindful because it's not it doesn't look nice right yeah so yep looks good like I mentioned I'll probably use this in you know um, special occasions I have other bags I can use for many other occasions so a special bag with a special price tag <laughs> so so yeah but something that each lady I believe should have in their wardrobe this classic flap
maybe before I end this uh, video I wanted to note that it's quite hard to get this when I went to the flagship store um, there were a lot of people waiting because we didn't have a, an appointment we were seventh in line we were seated in one of the floors and uh, customers are going around you know when I tried and look at one bag it's it was also a classic flap but in tweed so it's one of the seasonal colors so I grabbed it I was looking at it and then the security one of the security people came to me and then took the bag from me and said no wait for for SA so yeah I was so surprised I was pretty upset actually uh, at the beginning but I said you know to myself the guy is just doing his job he's a security personnel he's not really an SA so probably their um, policy there is that no customer should um, check a bag if they're not attended to by an SA it's quite it's quite rude that's but that's yeah that's what happened but when I was assisted when I was assigned an essay she was really very kind um, like I mentioned in my Paris haul video she offered me this in the 2.55 reissue both in small but of course this one sang to me this is the exact one I was looking for this um, as usual I'll give you the price um, this one is in 9,300 euros uh, less of course the tax refund the issue that she showed me was 9,700 euros if I remember correctly it was also very nice but yeah uh, if I could get to I definitely definitely get that as well I was told that you know they have very limited stocks available they don't offer this uh, the classic ones uh, to customers very often so so yeah that's the story behind it I'm still glad that I managed to get one uh, at the Paris flagship store you know me I'm such a sucker for packaging so I'm extra delighted that I got to buy it at the flagship store that's it I'll see you in the next video guys thank you for watching stay safe bye